Hey everybody, I'm back, and this time we're taking a look at uh, Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire 4.0. It's out, it's live, the Forgotten Sanctum is installed. Uh, okay, well we're going to just see how this goes, just do a little Let's Play, and um, I haven't really played since launch, so it's going to be a little bumpy, perhaps. I hope you'll bear with me while I make all the poor choices. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to have level scaling on. But only scale upwards. Um, and let's look at the Bareth's blessings. Bareth. Uh, money is cool. Starting level 4 is actually kind of great for testing. But there's already a... I mean, there's already kind of an issue with um, uh, experience points and how there's so many of them now. I haven't, like I said, I haven't played since launch, but I've read quite a few people complain about how you hit the level cap like very early now with all the extra content, and that was before the Forgotten Sanctum was launched. So, no reason to start level four, I think. I do want bonus attributes. Attributes. Um, I don't want to have. A, I want to be able to know where I haven't been yet. I don't understand why you'd want to be able to know where the world maps uh, exploration or I revealed already. Bonus skills seems cool for only three points. Begin with fine equipment. Nah, let's come back to that. Upgraded ship sails. Um, expert ship captain. I do want that item vendor. That's kind of cool. I might come back and get some cash. We're going to launch into this game and have like a, a bit of an advantage with some of these, uh, I realize. Uh, crafting costs are cheaper. That seems like it might be good. We'll come back to that. I definitely want this. ED are having a pet slot. I was playing with that earlier. That's so good. There's so many great pets, and having two characters be able to equip a pet is just cool. Plus, a deer having a pet slot is hilarious. Legendary crew, and pockets are filled with more and more rare items. Let's grab that and start with an extra couple thousand gold. Um, Or should I have something that costs six? No, let's just do that. All right. I think this is good. We can try this. And I also want... Um, man, let's go back. I want to try something. If you click down here, these are the challenges. These all sound terrifying to me. Um, I think that's, I think these are awesome, but I'm not the kind of player who gets into these and then like gets like really deep into them. But there was one, Galloway's Challenge, Beast Scan, Random Powerful Effects. I thought just for fun, um, I love the icons on these. I thought just for fun, I would actually try this to see what the what random powerful effects Beast got. Uh, so that looks like it's all set already. It kept my settings. That's cool. I'm gonna plan veteran, scaling upwards, and I think I will say veteran is maybe where I won't end up. I'll start there, but if it ends up being a little too aggressive, I know that in in the past veteran is my ideal because it's uh, historically had more more interesting uh or I should say more challenging encounters. Like instead of fighting like three guys on classic, the same fight would have maybe five guys. I think that's uh cool. Good way to do difficulty levels. But see I see in the patch notes that veteran just has a blanket bonus to health and accuracy for all the enemies. I don't like that mechanically. I don't like enemies having bonus stats. But then again I do too with my Baron's blessings. So we'll we'll start with veteran, we'll see how it goes. Alright, let's skip the intro much of it as we can, and see what happens. I still don't know what I'm going to roll for a character, per se. Um, I think I'm going to make a rogue and a scion. Uh, mostly because the combination of those two sounds really An fun. Aged dwarf shares this I did a single player last time. With you. His face is Maybe creased by so many wrinkles talking. that his features lie buried amid shadowy pockets of skin. Still, the dwarf's well-practiced habits have left telltale tracks of a welcoming rictus across his visage. Okay, you so we're see. probably not going to listen to all the dialogue. Uh, this is probably not anyone who's watched this his first time at the, at the helm. And if it is your first time, just enjoy this stuff for yourself. Uh, I'm going to skip through this and get to the character creation as quick as I can. Although I do have a few choices to make here that I haven't completely settled on yet. Like what world Sit. state to load. Please. Alright, have a seat, ghost. Thank you for joining us, Watcher of Cadnua. She looks really cool. 
The gaunt woman appeals. Yeah. She's preoccupied She's with your cards. brush with it. Okay, when I first played, I had this. I had painstakingly created what I could remember from my history from the first game. What I wanted to have happened in the first game. I think it'd be kind of fun to just pick one of these. Like, this is basically what I was going for in my first on the on the playthrough I created. And how I played the game. I think it'd be kind of neat. Um, you can sign the souls of the Hollowborn to Oblivion. You pledged Rimgrand. You let the wake of physical destruction and spiritual annihilation wherever you went. And I don't know if I want to be like a complete evil person. Uh, you use the souls to strengthen the Deerwood. You pledged to Galloway. Most of the choices were made to strengthen you and your allies while punishing and weakening your enemies. Yeah, this seems fine. I'm going to play like a roguey, mercenary kind of character. Uh, neither benevolent nor evil. Just sort of looking out for herself, maybe? Does everything appear to be in all good? Alright. The dwarfs re Tell me, do you remember when we last met? I do. You came to that, you prayed still. She played. You had the B, though A of you and he are and still connected. No. She delicately played. I know. I Their souls guy. remain in good. good. Before right. you return, when you can picture your own... Alright, here we go. We're going to create a character from scratch. Um, my initial plan, like a, like months ago when I first beat the game, was I wanted to play as a, um, uh, uh, pale elf, rogue. Uh, I didn't, I didn't do it. I started making a character. I played for like a hot minute and then I moved on to other stuff and, uh, said I'd come back. So here I am. So I'm still going to make my character that I wanted to make then. Uh, plus dexterity and perception is pretty awesome. Resistance to burn and freeze is pretty handy. Well, let's go with multi-class here. All right, first class will be rogue. Um, I'm tempted to grab roguish charm, grab this new debonair. I mean, I, I don't know what I was going to do before. And so maybe I'll just try this just to have tried, just to have rolled up one of the new subclasses. Um, I made a video earlier with all the different subclasses, so I won't go into all of them here. But I think maybe this might be fun because... Charm targets, you gain a big bonus to hit and crit against them. You can actually charm targets uh, for one guile if they're kith, like uh, other elves and dwarves and humans. And you gain a hit and graze against any attacks uh, when I am not uh, afflicted by anything, which is kind of tough to pull off, but it's cool that it's a thing. However, I can't engage, which is really just fine. I mean, engaging is kind of more of a thing a tank would do. Um, if an enemy wants to walk away from me, they just, they will be able to, I will not be able to get a free hit on them. But the cowardice ability is rough. Um, I, I have to kind of micromanage my character a little more, but I, I kind of have to anyway as a rogue, because, I mean, you want to make sure you're flanking and getting the bonuses. So, I just need to make sure if I make this character, she's not by herself fighting something all too far away from her allies. And I think that'll be fine. Let's try that. And we're going to start with Crippling Strike. And I'm going to pick up um, Cypher. Oh, Spellblade. I thought, that, I thought this was called Cyblade. Man, why did I think that? That's Mind Stalker is pretty cool. All right, now the thing about Cyphers, and I'm tempted to go with no subclass because I don't, I don't know much about Scion. Gained Soul Mine, which is just every second I'm gaining focus, unless I get hit, if I remember right. Yeah, like you just gain focus passively and you can telekinetically burst guys. I don't care about bursting guys away from me. I want to be able to deal damage with my melee weapons. And I'm probably going to get hit because I'm not going to, I'm going to be in the front. I'm going to be like right in the thick of things. So this is probably not going to work well. But this, a beginner might be kind of cool because deception cipher spells have increased range. That doesn't affect me too much. I'm going to be within range uh, fighting people. But I'm going to gain focus back when I cast uh, Deception Spells on enemies that are vulnerable to Sneak Attack. And I'm already trying to make enemies vulnerable to Sneak Attack anyway, so things like Crippling Strike make them a, a good target for a Deception uh, Cypher. However, my Soul Whip provides less damage bonus and reduces focus against targets that are not vulnerable to Sneak Attack. So again, the, there's no real drawback here to this combination if I play it right. Except for a little bit less damage. Bonus damage. So I think let's let's try this. And let's grab... I could grab Whispers of Treason, but I actually start with... Um, 
a deception or a uh, charm effect. So I don't necessarily need two charm effects. Um, instead, is there any other? This would be kind of cool, maybe. Extra might and extra perception. Um, but just for an ally, not for me. Uh, mine, let's see, Mineley is uh, always really good. That's Shred. Is there any, oh, Ice Strike is Deception. I could, I could grab this and I can build a blind guys with it. That would be actually pretty handy. Tenuous Graphs uh, will, will shake in and confuse people. Either Tenuous Grasp or Ice Strike would be good. Um, let's see. This takes three seconds to cast and two seconds to recover from. That's so long. Let's let's grab this because I'm gonna be able to blind guys in a couple levels anyway when I pick up my rogue ability. So, but I won't be able to shake in and confuse them, and this does. Um, a target, so that's good. Excellent. All right. Okay, perception is pretty important. Um, having area effects or having the effects uh, last longer will be good. Uh, let's see. Going quickly is good. Hitting hard is good. Having health is good. Uh, extra health. Perception, let's go with. Okay, and then we're going to go with um, more perception? Yeah, I want to be able to make sure I'm getting crits in as much as possible. And let's see here. Survival mechanics. Those are actually pretty good. Mechanics would be good to have a bonus in for pick and locks and such. Yeah, let's go with Hunter. Wait, was it, what was Drifter? Slide a hand and bluff. All right, now what am I going to be fighting with? Um, I wanted to do a dual wielding character with like a, a, a rapier and maybe a dagger or a stiletto. Careful aim for weakness. Trading recovery time for increased penetration. Let's do that. Miller focus on uh, extra deflection against melee attacks. Oh, that might be kind of handy to have for defense if I'm getting low in health. Maybe I'll start with a dagger. Okay. All right, and a portrait. Um, there's a lot of portraits. Are there new portraits? I don't remember this being this many. This is my go-to for this character, I think. These colors seem totally fine. What are the head options here? I mean, I like all of them. I like that missing eye. That's kind of cool. It's creepy. Let's do that. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, this seems fine. Actually, that's like the hair from the portrait, so I guess we can go with that. And should I make her hair more white? That'd be cool. Ah! That was not hair. Hair. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. Okay. Nothing will slip past me. Need a hand? I'll lead the way. Yeah, this seems fine. All right. I, the average pose is fine with me. Now I need a name. Um, geez, I don't know. I didn't really think of it as far ahead. How about um, Telendria? Sure. Okay. All right. That's a lot of abilities. That is a lot of abilities. All right. Here we go. Go forth now, Watcher. Find it. A quick a chime. The dwarf. Now they make us walk this long path. Here, though, you can sort of just watch. I did this a couple times earlier. I was trying out different builds. I tried um, the new Barbarian Fury Shaper, which seemed really cool. Um, and then I tried uh, the Arcane Archer, which I also thought was really cool. So, I don't know. I'm not sure. I might make a few custom characters just to try out some of these new classes. Um, See how that goes. Okay, let's get back to my body. The return to your body feels like waking after Adair watches over your body. No, there's no way. You're awake. What are you doing awake? How are you feeling? 
survive. Life's a big improvement. I hate to cast a pall over your recovery, but I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. The voice echoes from... Had Nua has been destroyed. Ah. It is only by the exceptional strength... The further Aethus withdrew, the weaker you became. We chartered this ship and followed him to the... I know not how, but it seems he has retained a piece of your soul. How yeah, could you know all that? I'll play later. Misfortune's brewing topside, we... And Grim, the smell of drink on your breath could wake the very dead. Pirates. They're demanding parley with you, Captain. I know this is asking a lot, but you better off. Okay. All right. Yeah. No. And you start with fine equipment. That's all right. We'll make up for it later. Okay. And my recovery time is faster. Oh, that's because I'm not really... Well, no, I am wearing, a uh, male armor. Wait. 1.9 seconds. Okay. So it'll be 1.9 seconds, but I'm wearing medium armor, so now it's, uh... Two... So, eh, half second, but a lot more survivable with, um, seven armor. Especially against fire. Oh. Oh, we have... Oh, that... Wow, that is that plus four from our... The pirates uh, of Deadfire stands? are notorious. I suggest yeah, you deal with them from being quickly. a pale elf. Wow, that's really that's pretty good. Pretty good armor. Okay, so let's take a look. Here we got uh, Tenuous Grasp. Roguish Charm. A level 6 or above also apply a random tier 1 body inspiration. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, you can make your, you can make your charmed ally even tougher. Okay, I like it. Mm hmm. Loading. There we go. Well, what have we here? Ben with. A little okay. sloop. I'll be taking your ship now, if you don't mind. I do mind. Well, at least he asked. I am a gentleman of fortune. Give her up easy, and I'll see you get a swift death. It'll be bloody and agonizing, sure. Well, you know, I always thought that room was missing something. Is that supposed to provoke me? Listen up, mates. I'm off to spear me a bigger fish. One with sharper teeth like. I'm trusting you lot not to cop this up. Play with a crew if you'd like. But don't bring me any prisoners. You had That's really wants that body. After him. Okay. Uh, so I've got my settings set to pause at the sort of combat. Uh, I'd like my log to be a little less uh, squished. And do I need to set up any of this? Uh, ooh, plus 20 accuracy for extra recovery time, though. Jeez, that, that's really impressive. I don't, think I, I don't remember that being a thing. Alright, let's start with Crippling Strike. There we go. Oh, and Defend run. the ship! Nice. Get him. Keep attacking. Don't let him. Oh, this guy's higher than all. See, there are actually more enemies here now on Veteran than there were before. Because I was doing this on casual and I was testing out some builds. I kind of wish I had... Oh, I can grab a... Uh, Tenuous Grasp. Oh, these guys are almost dead. Hang on. Here, you guys finish me. We're going to have to go up here and Tenuous Grasp this guy. Let's roguishly charm this guy. Can I not? Is it too? Oh, he's not. Oh, shoot, he's not. He's too far away. Alright, let's get up here and do it. I can't. This guy's in the way. Beautiful, get out of the way. I wanted to test his ability. I should have grabbed escape, I guess. Um, there we go. Hey, it worked! Let's see a look in the. Uh, let's see. Grazed him. Two hit was 29. He has a 38 in his willpower, though. So it's only a negative nine. But I rolled high enough to graze him and charge him for 36 seconds? How long does this normally last? Charm for 36 seconds. That's not a thing. Oh, okay. 12.4 seconds. Um, it's funny that it says... Oh, okay. I see. It does say 14.7 seconds, just the tooltip shows 36. Um, Alright, I got it. Great! Uh, everybody attack this guy. 
this is awkward. Hey guys, eh, maybe we should like take this guy out. He's frightened. Yeah. Eh, that's cool. Of I'm just kid, so I can't do it against like storms picking up. Take cover. I do feel like that's gonna be very powerful. In several of the fights coming up. All right. We defeated the we defeated the pirates, but we're not out of the trouble yet. I am. Uh, uh, he just fell out of the, fell off the deck. Should I save him or save the crates? I feel like I've done this bo both ways, and the crate didn't have anything in it that was worthwhile, but I could be misremembering. Either way, I'll save this guy. Part of our crew. Alright. Watchline reveals a treacherous coastline, and Eoth is starting in the distance. Well, we're on the right track. We just got smashed. And beached. Getting a lot of sleep so far on this trip. <laughs> if you're worried about the ship, you can stop worrying. <laughs> so far, it's just you and me. It's a relief to see you awake, my lady. Shh. It's right behind you. Unfortunately, I believe we'll be needing the Defiant yet. Well, there's a thought. I'm afraid I won't be much assistance in that regard. That's true. Steak, especially. Patching the hull is only the start. You're going to need help getting the Defiant. Let's see about the other survivors. I don't want to be paddling out of here on a salvage raft. Things to do along this beach. For now, I'd say your best bet is to find some sign of civil. My lady, if it is not too taxing, could you explain how it came to pass that you were returned to us? Could be they're just not dumb enough to get an Aethys's way up here. A perilous endeavor indeed. Come well, I suppose we'd better get a move on. All right. I think. Obviously, we want him to be a f pure fighter, right? And my first playthrough, he was a swashbuckler, which was actually pretty awesome. But with me being a rogue, we hardly need two rogues or rogue fighters. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah? What do you got here? You got a sword and a shield and a war bow. A couple of goodies there. Um, okay, let's see here. Plus one stealth and sleight of hand. Cool cape, cool ring. What's this, Grant? While not flanked, the wearer's risen. Oh, risen per perception abilities. Pretty good. Now one of these pigs, I definitely want. Ah, here we go. This reduces armor penalty, which is excellent because now I'm down to 2.1 seconds instead of uh, 2. Point, um, what was it? 2.4. And we also have a pet slot for him. So let's give him. This one grants our whole party stealth. Yep. Okay. And we got some other goodies here. What is this here? Blinding bomb. Let's put this in your hands. Okay. Suits me, hmm? don't you think? Uh huh. That's oh, really cool. Okay. Let's grab this and set this up. Hey. And let's go. Help! So talking to people. Yep, it definitely crashed. The deck is water reached from here. The ship groans like a beach whale. Each time the waves roll in, but doesn't seem to be listing further. Uh, let's scale the hull by hand. Oh God. Do you not have any? Oh, it's watcher only. Oh, we did it. Party assist. Ah. Okay. It'd been really embarrassing if I'd flubbed that very first roll. You're looking better, Casita. That, or I'm worse off than I thought. It's my leg, Matico. It hurts even worse than it looks. Okay. Let's see. Survival might. I can just carry it back down. What I happened? was a stubborn Postenaga. Ah. I was trying to everything we've been through, and I'm nearly done. Funny thing, it's hard to see much from the underside of the barrel. Ah, uh, fair enough. 
Crab to splints. I'll patch it best I can. I'll just stay off the leg as much as possible. Yeah, let's I wasn't planning on going for- Ah! Uh, it still hurts. Have you found any of the others yet? Shrug. I am sure we'll be fine. I'm the kind of- I'm the kind of person who shrugs, I guess. Alright, anything else up here? Doesn't look like it, so let's just shimmy back down. We've rescued her. We're getting there. Not There's a some problem. goodies over here. A hat. Hmm? Give this cool hat to him. I mean, it looks of course. Like art. Yeah. Okay. Uh, handy. Potion of healing, which I'm pretty sure she didn't have any of, so that's a good start. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. There's a ghost here. That's normal. Hope the rest of those sodden bastards made it. Oh, she got here already. That's fast. There must be other survivors out there. Yeah, this is a ghost. And this is the ghost of our crew that died. Hey, fancy seeing you here. Yeah, dead sailor. Jeez. I can't see much of anything, really, apart from you. Just endless gray. Storm? That's strange. You'd think a man would recall a storm. It's weird. I thought death would be different. Big light and so on. Yeah, I don't want to be a jerk But I don't see it. it. Oh. Suppose that sounds nice enough. I do shrug, though. I'll... Still seeing ghosts, huh? Suppose you're okay. stuck with that. Hey, boy. Suey? Uh, so I don't know if it's really critical that I, like, cripple this thing, but we are on veteran, so I probably shouldn't take it for granted. <clears throat> oh, you know what? And he actually... Here, you're you're not engaged, so once you aren't there, you get a flank. Take oh, this. I guess it was engaged. I was looking at the wrong arrow, I guess. This fight there is mine. Ready? Leave it to me. Mind the boars, Watcher. I can't hold them back. It is good to see you well, Watcher. Hey, the guy was there. I believe the boars were hoping for the bosun. Beadle is in that cave over there. Ran in after a... After we made landfall, you mean? I woke and Beadle was close. I came over this way in hopes of gathering some of that blood moss over there. I thought it might be of use. I will make for the camp. Okay. Well, let's do this. I guess we're not the first to head this way. And I'll clear this out a few times, uh, so it'll be interesting to see like how trouble. the uh, fights are changing. Like cave beetles. Oh, they're a little tougher than us. That's what that little skull means. I think that means they're like a, little, like a level above us. You're mine! Alright, let's do this. How do you like that? Better than that. Okay. I guess I can't tell who's fighting uh, me. Stay behind me. Here, you knock this one down. Step into our yeah. And then you. Let's do that. Is the best. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, something that's fast. Like lowers their power levels and does anything else to my camera was. I should look again. Uh, lowers power levels and resolve, which would actually make effects last longer on them, because resolve is um, used to increase uh, beneficial or reduce negative effects durations. So that's good. And they confuse guys, which uh, means they might hurt other friends. It's very cool. Not a problem. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Not a problem. Let's go over here. Can't hide from me. A skeleton who's apparently seen us. Uh, looks like he's going after Edir first. Let's knock him down. Here's some weapons. No good to need a hand. This guy. Oh, oh, there's quite a few guys. Um, okay. 
Let's uh shoot this guy. Nope, he's immune. Nope, he's not immune. Will he fight his friend? Yeah. Nope, he's not gonna he's not, he's not confused. I mean he is confused, but he's not confused. Quick! Toss me something else! Oh god, she's about ready to drop. Here, let's um <laughs> Where are, you, where are you going? There's a tree. That was weird. Okay. Yeah. But I'll take it. I'm gonna play that. Sometimes. I'm on it. Alrighty. Mm, goodies. That was definitely more enemies than I'm used to. Waterlog note. No sign of Benwith. That is the uh, captain that ran us aground. Uh, pirate guy. Okay. Let's <laughs> no. Yeah. Rogue. Uh, no hand potion. That's always good. See, we're at the 30, 30 minute mark, so I'm gonna put a cut in here before I walk in this room here, and we will um, be back in just a moment. <laughs> 